Nice. All right, guys. Today we are on our way to check four traps that Noah Fields and I set yesterday for alligator snapping turtles. Uh, this area is part of a survey I'm doing on the species and hopefully we're gonna catch some, be able to get some measurements and some data and uh, continue the survey that I'm doing here in North Georgia. So looking forward to seeing what's in the traps and follow along and see what we get. All right, guys, I am here a little bit before Noah. So since I have a little bit of free time, I'm gonna go down kind of do a pre-check, look at the traps, just make sure nothing happened to them overnight, and uh, then we'll finish checking them once Noah arrives. But so far, it looks like it's gonna be a nice day. All right, so I did just a preview of this trap, and it's actually a really, really cool one. I'm really excited to pull this trap out and show you guys what's in here, because it's gonna be a really good one. Here he is, late as usual. Just kidding. Subaru, gang gang. All right, yeah, we're here at the first trap. As I said in the other video, I looked at this one we got some stuff in here, so I'm gonna get in here, try and pull this trap out. Because we're on a steep bank, Noah's gonna have to try and pull up from the top while I push up from the bottom. So, we'll see how this goes. And there's no easy way to get in. You just have to go. Yeah, it's so deep right here. All right, just so we make sure we get the trap the right way. Ow. All right, I'm gonna pull the weight a little bit to make some slack. Okay, first ring. There's the common, there's the alligator. Yeah, pretty nice, huh? Yeah. That's a pretty big female too. Yeah, pretty sure it's a female, it looks like one. Um, we'll see if there's anything else in the trap. Looks like it's just the two of those. So, all right, I'm gonna give you this ring. All right, just hold that like that. All I need you to do is just keep that out of the water so that they can't get back out of the trap. And then I'll get the anchor. That is so sick and easy. Isn't that awesome? It's awesome to get both snappers too. That's just like, that's like a dream capture, you know? You're like, oh, I like, I want to get both. He's doing that common snapper stuff where they climb. All right. <clears throat> if you can just stay there holding it, yeah. I can come up there and help you pull it up. Um, all right. Because I think that's going to be the only way. Because because there is a common snapper in here, it's going to be a little bit trickier. But all you have to do is hold that ring, and I can I can come up and help you pull it the rest of the way up. All right, one, two, three, pull. Next one, pull. Next one, pull. There we go, keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep going all the way up to here. And there we go. Ta-da. That is a trap you wanna be very careful taking the stuff yeah. out of. Let me see. Look at the underside of that common. Is that a little boy? Uh, it could be. I guess we'll, we'll figure that out. There's our little common snapping turtle. Nice little female. Yep, these guys are way harder to take out of a trap than those guys. <laughs> that could be a small male. It looked kind of like he had quite the... Uh, he had a kind of a bulge, yeah. He had a power bulge. power <laughs> bulge. All right, so it is pretty unusual to get a common snapping turtle when I'm out alligator snapping turtle trapping. This is actually the first time I've had both in one trap. Um, and it's because around this particular area, it's, it's a floodplain. There's also a pond nearby and common snapping turtles will do what alligator snapping turtles won't and they'll move over land. So this turtle probably habitually moves from a nearby pond to this section of stream 
and does that to, you know, be able to find food, lay eggs, mate. All, woo! And <laughs> they are just sharp all around. Yeah. They're just way harder to deal with than the alligator snapping turtles, but really stoked that we were able to get both in the same trap. So that's really good data as well. So I'm really excited to get that. And we're gonna send this guy on his way and then take some measurements and stuff on the alligator snap turtle, check the rest of the traps and try to get out of here before it's 150 degrees. So is this normal or have I just never noticed this before? Like how- Oh yeah, yeah, is? yeah. Common snapping turtles have really sharp marginals. I mean, not always are they that, that recurve yeah. underneath, but it's funny because that's a good adaptation to keep things from kind of getting to the soft yeah. parts. Just yeet him? Yeah, just, I mean, he'll be fine. He'd, I'm sure this, this is how he gets in and out of here yeah. anyway. So he'll be good. You're talking about one of the toughest animals on the planet. That was pretty graceful, honestly. Yeah, see? <laughs> Work my way up stream to a log jam. Oh, it's so hot. This feels so good. Oh, you found the better spot to get in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't see bait, which is a good sign. Red doesn't see bait. Just wait. Doesn't look like anything, but there's no bait in it. It looks empty. It looks like something got in and out. I was worried about that, but the way this one was set. Something took the bait for sure. Didn't mess with the Dean can. So that would probably be a smaller turtle since it got in and got out. So yeah, empty traps are a way of life when you're trapping. All right. Oh gosh. Steep one. It's a steep one and I think that's rocks. This one's more of a shallow set and it looks like the stream has gone down a little bit overnight. Gone down? Yeah. I was looking at the bank earlier. See the water line? Yeah, yeah it went down <laughs> probably four or five inches. Oh it's present and it's intact, which I'm kind of bummed about, but I mean this seems stranger, so create some slack on the weight get this end up here we go little oh, guy it's a little one heck yeah cool he's been nibbling on that catfish he got like the inside that gutted out yep Look at all this right dude. so hold this up nice and high and i'm gonna get the weight that's a nice one. Oh yeah you can smell his musk yeah that's a cool size yeah it's like bigger than the one but smaller than the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Look how pink her butthole is. <laughs> that a nickel. Should I just pull this out or should we leave it in the trap? Just guess? leave it in the trap. Yeah, here, shake it out and get him more towards the, the other end of the trap. There we go. Just hold, yeah, hold that. Like, there you go. Like, her, hold it like this while I untie it. And then that way he can only go deeper. All right, here we go. I'll show you how to take him out. <clears throat> Have the kind of here lay it down there we go like that there we go nice oh yeah look at that guy very good i love that size yeah this is a cool size they still kind of have that like super camo they have when they're juveniles. Yeah, really well developed keels. Man, for some reason the ones here have a wide caudal notch. That's really cool. All right, so this is juvenile. You can tell the juveniles have those much narrower, really sharp jaws and hyper defensive with that greater mobility of the head and neck than the adults who get those large, heavy heads. This guy's really, really nice. I mean, really intact. I was really stoked to see this in the last trap. Really good looking shell. You can see the growth annual line. Neat looking coddle notch. Very reminiscent of the Suwannee alligator snapping turtles I see in South Georgia. And really cool looking. So, work this guy up, get some measurements, take some photos, and send him back home to his river. Dink. All right, so SCL is 
235. Width is 199. Let's see, head width 73. All right, 178 plastron length. Precloacal tail 62. Total tail 243. For sex, just put juvenile because I like to get these. So one, two, four. So we're gonna mark this one and this one. Right, so we're gonna release these guys. Let's let the big guy go first. And there he goes. So look how quick they just disappear into this place too. Pretty amazing. You wouldn't even know they're in here. Yeah, he's gone forever now. Yeah. Oh look, you can see him out in the middle. Oh yeah. There he goes. He's going fast too. Yeah, he's booking it. All right, let's do this little guy. Same spot. Well, that was a successful mission. I'm glad I had Noah here to help me. Uh, we set the traps yesterday. It was a lot nice of work. And, yeah, it's a lot of work setting traps in here. There's a lot of stuff underwater you can't even see, and it makes it setting the traps a little bit difficult. Got here early this morning, and we had a successful trap day. And I'm really stoked we were able to get both a common and alligator snapper in the same trap. That's pretty rare. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out Noah's channel. Be sure to subscribe to Noah's channel, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> you might get a video of me eating. <laughs>